Treasury and uh, HMRC had not in fact sought scientific advice on the epidemiological consequences of the scheme. That, that must have been apparent to you. Well, uh, I, I say in my, in my statement that I, th I thought that Chris and Patrick uh, must have known or did know about the about Eat Out to Help Out. And I, I said that because it wasn't a, a, a very secret thing. It was, a, I, I thought, a pretty well-publicised scheme. And I'm fairly confident that it was discussed m several times in, in meetings at which I believe they must have been present. Um, you know, I, 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 get, I understand that they, they don't feel that they were properly consulted. Um, and I remember being, uh, and I, but I don't quite understand how that can have happened, to be honest. I, d I, I remember being surprised later, I think it was in September, when Chris says this is eat out to help the virus. And I thought, you know, I thought that's funny. Because I didn't, rem I, you know, I didn't remember any previous controversy about it, objection or controversy. But, but please may we be clear about this. No scientists have been present at any of the bilateral discussions That's about correct. the voucher or what, what became the Eat Out to Health. Well, certainly not, not as far as I can remember. No. The paperwork, and you've obviously received a number of papers, made no reference, did it, to this scheme being supported or proposed by the epidemiological experts. It, it wouldn't, uh, it didn't say that, but that, on the other hand, I wouldn't necessarily have drawn the conclusion from that that it was, uh, it, it had either been opposed or that it had not been discussed with them. And in your statement, you do say in terms, the scheme was, quote, to use your words, properly discussed, including with Chris and Patrick. So I, I, did, I did say that, and that, that was my belief, and I, I, I don't understand how that I don't understand how something as um, well publicised as, as that as, uh, could have been smuggled past uh, uh, the um, the scientific advice. I don't. I don't see how that could have happened. So that we're entirely clear about this, your statement appears to positively suggest that it was properly discussed, including with Chris and Patrick. You're the one who suggests in your statement that the persons with whom it was discussed included the CMO I, and the... I, I, excuse me. Sorry. Included the CMO and the GCSA. But now, today, you're saying you're not sure whether it was discussed with them and you're surprised that it wasn't. Is that the uh, I, position? I, I, the reason I said that in my statement is because I frankly assumed that it must have been discussed uh, with them. And I, I'm perplexed as to how something as significant as that can have got through. I mean, it was, there was there was there must have been several meetings it, of COVID S and COVID O, which it was discussed. So I'm. You, you understand that you make a positive averral. It was properly discussed. It, it, that word "properly" is your word, Mr. Johnson, not not the inquiries. Well, that's that's indeed my memory, and I I, I remember the scheme coming up several times, um, and that's why I was as I as I've told you, I was surprised when later I heard that um, Chris was calling it eat out to help, eat out to help the virus mm. and, and, and taken aback. Enforcement. Uh, 